again, his struggles to adapt to the speeds of the green. Have you seen anything mechanically, since we're on the subject, that, that might help him along? Well, I, I don't really notice the, the mechanics, but it's more of an attitude, body language, and, and his reaction to when he misses a putt. Um, I think he's taken something technical from Steve, and uh, it, it's helped him do what great putters, what they all have in common, and they're not afraid to miss. And you see the way he holed out last week. I mean, I, it was absolutely phenomenal. He was very close to 100% inside of six feet uh, for the entire week, which is just about impossible to do. And, uh, you know, if you, if you want the responsibility that comes with the putt, then you don't want the putter head back after you've hit it. And you can see it uh, in his game at the minute. He's holding out beautifully. Um, and he is, uh, you know, both possibilities are equally acceptable to him. He might miss it. He might make it. And if you make those possibilities equally acceptable, you create an environment in which you can go ahead and make the stroke that you wanted to. And that's what he's doing with, you know, Steve's help. And I think that's one of